Father Alex Steinmiller of St. Paul the Cross Retreat Center, uh, coming to you each week, uh, breaking open the Word of God. Why? Because uh, each of us, and I'm, I'm complimenting you, have strengths that come from God, have capabilities that are uniquely designed to reach others, and you've got wisdom. It's all there. And the Word of God gives us direction as to how to use these gifts and talents. That's what, that's what the Word does. And today, the Word of God, this Sunday, uh, we focus on uh, the fields in which we live, the fields in which we uh, have life. And these fields have weeds and have wheat. And that is the issue, dealing with weeds and wheat. And, and Jesus, uh, in this parable, is the farmer. And, and the farmer has a great insight into life amidst evil and good. And that is, and this is surprising, because the workers, the farm workers, wanted to uproot the weeds. Let's get rid of them. No, because in the process of uprooting the weeds, you're going to uproot the wheat. And so we leave it alone. We leave it alone until, and here is where space and time and patience come in. Uh, I can think of many times in working in different situations where I notice someone uh, doing something that I don't agree with, or maybe they're, they're in error, and uh, bang, I snap at them. I immediately call their attention to what's going on. Rather than taking a patient space and time to step back, to step back and allow time to be a, 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 a source of wisdom, Try this. Allow something that's really on your mind bothering you, and perhaps it's in the presence of somebody. Give it space, give it time. And believe me, you will see it and deal with it in a different way. The other thing that goes on today in, in, in the scriptures is how Jesus points out how even though we feel small or insignificant, like a tiny seed, there is incredible incredible power within each of us. Remember, when, when, when you hear the Word of God, when you hear the Word of God, it's not just for you to nourish you. No, no. It's nourishment, it's nourishment for someone else. And we don't know oftentimes who, where, or why this is happening. It's all part of the field in which we are, we are, we are put, that we are sent. So, so today, as we reflect upon uh, the Word of God, just be in touch with the ways in which God enables us to see signs around us of people who just don't get it. Uh, people who perhaps never expose themselves to the Word of God. And some of the signs of that are fears, express fears, fears of acting out, anxiety, depression, uh, feeling small and insignificant or feeling sorry for yourself. All these are signs of a person being cut off from the source of life, which is the Word of God. And guess what? You and I, in that same field, are the Word of, are the word of God. We're, we're the message. Pope Paul, or Pope Francis, Pope Francis himself, calls the church a field hospital. And we are the staff, the workers in that field. So be aware of how this weekend's readings remind us of how important it is for us to pay attention to the Word because that, that sensitizes us to the people in that field, good and bad, whom we encounter. Have a great week and enjoy the Sunday readings. Hey.